Hi all, I just want to go through um, the basic settings that are required to be set when you are importing um, pixel art. So this is specific to, to uh, pixel art. Okay, I have a, a scene created here. Um, I've called it character animation. Um, I've imported a custom package, just, uh, just to let you know which package I have imported. Uh, import package, custom package. I imported the custom package uh, GE1 Game Engines 1 prototype pack version 0 0.01 um, and it comes with uh, the t this tile map for example uh, it also comes with a demo scene and a sample scene uh, however I'll be using very little if anything from that um, okay I am going to uh, import a new character sprite sheet and the character sprite sheet has been um, uses pixel art. So here are, if I go into my sprites, here's my character sprite sheet. It's uh, called Adventure Sprite Sheet. This is where I got it, by the way. Um, I got it from elton.h.io forward slash pixel art adventure sprites. I'll put it in the show notes. Um, uh, lovely, lovely character. Um, you can see it's got a, an idle looking left, looking right. I got a, a run. He's got like a, an attack, he's got a take damage, and he's got a bet animation. Um, and we'll eventually get to all of that. Um, but for this video, I just want to show you how to import uh, the asset in. So I've it already imported, and that was very straightforward. It's uh, I go to my assets, uh, I right click, and I go import new asset. I'm not importing a package, I'm importing a new asset. I click import new asset, and I navigate to where uh, where it is, uh, there it is, Adventure Sprite Sheet version 1.1. I clicked import and I put it into my uh, sprites folder and here it is. So by default, um, it comes in as uh, in single sprite mode. So by default, uh, Unity thinks this is just one image when in fact it is multiple images. So I'm going to set switch this to multiple. Um, and I also noticed that the pixels per unit is 100. Uh, I'm going to go to the sprite editor. Oh, sorry, it's asking me to apply the changes. Um, and here's the, the sprite editor. I've opened up the sprite editor. Um, and it's it's it, we now have to slice it up into its individual images. Um, so I hit slice. If I hit automatic, let me do it with automatic, you'll see that like box sizes differ. Like it just slices enough right around. It gets it sort of slices out the image as close to the image as possible. And I don't want this to happen because um, if I was to do this, sort of the center point of the image or the pivot point of the image, if you set it to center, would vary. So for example, this is the center of this image where my mouse is here. This is the center of it here. But the center of this is actually lower down. So it will sort of play havoc with my animations. So rather than doing anim um, automatic, I'm doing going to do it by uh, cell size. And, I, and it's, it's suggesting 64 by 64. I'll, do, I'll, I'll show you that. So it's saying it's going 64 pixels by 64 pixels. And that's too big, obviously. Uh, it's twice. It's, it's too big by a factor of two. So it's actually 32 by 32. Um, so this artist, and I slice it. So this artist um, used a 32 by 32 pixel um, format, so to speak, uh, when, when, um, when drawing this, this, this art. So this looks good. Uh, they're, they're 32 by 32 uh, pixels, width by height. Um, and now I can slice it. Uh, oh, the pivot point, before I, I slice it, uh, the pivot point, actually I leave the pivot point the way it is. It, it's at the center, so right in the middle. And, and let's slice it. Um, and that's it, it's done. And I can apply those changes uh, now. And there you go, um, we've got all our, we've got, we've got our, um, our sprite sheet sliced into the various um, sprites. And now this single sprite sheet back here is no longer uh, just one sprite sheet, but you'll now see it's actually multiple and you can see all, all of the different ones. So I'm just gonna take out one here. Uh, I'll take out the first one and it is tiny. So I'm gonna have to zoom in a little bit, quite a bit. Remember it's only 32 by 32 pixels. So I'll leave it at this. Um, if I go back to my uh, sprite sheet, it says the pixels per unit is 100. So they're saying for every 100 pixels, that's going to be one box or one unit here, as we see it on the grid, uh, is going to take up 100 pixels. I don't want it. I want it to be 32. Um, so if I apply that, you'll see it now that each sprite is about that is the size of this box. It's 32 by uh, 32. 
32 by 32. So there you go. Um, so that so so yes, this needs to be set to 32. The other things you want to change is I want to change um, compression down here. Compression is usually set to normal quality. I want to say that to none. Uh, and again, I'm going to apply that. Um, so there'll be no there'll be no compression. And I think that's uh, that's most of the changes I want to make here in this screen. Oh, there's one more change to filter mode. The filter mode is set to uh, by linear by default. I want to set it to point that no filter for pixels. And you see how sharp it gets straight away. Look, there it is in by linear, and here when you have no filter on it, it's uh, it gets quite quite sharp. And I apply that. So you so this these are the the settings that my my art is uh, 32 by 32 pixels. So I've set that to pixels per unit. This is multiple. I've sliced it. I have um, set the filter mode to none. And I have set the uh, compression also. Make sure that the compression is also set to none. Okay, next thing I want to do is I'm going to go back to my uh, main sprite sheet and I'm going to open up the sprite editor. Again, I have to apply the changes I've made. Here's the sprite editor. And if you look at the pivot, it's set to center and the and the pivot unit mode is normalized. Yeah, I want to set this to pixels. And I want to set it to pixels for every one of them. So an easy way of doing this is press my control key on my keyboard. It highlights all of them. And then I set it to pixels here and I let go of my control key and then I press apply. And now they've um, now the pivot unit mode of pixels has been applied to them all. Next I'm going to alter the um, the snap setting. So to ensure the pixelated movement of sprites are consistent uh, with each with each other we we see we alter the snap settings so if i go here to the edit and i go to snap settings actually i've already altered here this was um, let me just save this this was one i believe uh, this is one and this is one by default and i'm going to change the x y and z and the formula is one divided by uh, so one divided by and the pixels per unit so here it's for me it's it's 32 so it's one divided by 32 so that for me is 0.3125 so i set this to 0.3125 uh, for all of them and snap and i'd want to highlight if, if i've got um art in my scene that all needs to be highlighted uh, apply so i want to select it and snap uh, hit snap all axis and uh, so now I have the snap settings set. The other thing I want to check just before I move on is I'm going to go to project settings and I'm going to go to quality. And I want to make sure anti-aliasing is disabled, and it is. And that's it. I think I am. Um, I think I have. I'm ready. I have this this pixel art sprite sheet uh, ready to go and imported correctly.